Hey YouTube, uh, this is going to be the part two in a little series I'm doing about uh, our off-grid school bus cabin. Uh, in this video, I just want to talk about uh, some of the future projects we have planned for the bus and uh, show some video of the bus now that it's uh, in place. Um, we've got a, a lot of stuff where we've got planned for the future, some projects we want to do. Um, the first uh, major project we're probably going to be working on is a little uh, small solar setup. Uh, we've got some solar panels to throw up on the roof and uh, just do a real basic, real simple solar um, power uh, setup so that we can run a few lights and TV, stuff like that. Um, under the hood or uh, in this battery compartment on the side here, we'll be able to put a couple deep cycle marine batteries to go with uh, our charge controller and inverter and all that. Um, for now, we're just using a small Honda, you know, portable generator, a little 2,000 watt, real quiet. Um, we don't need a whole lot of power here. The only thing we're going to be running is maybe a couple lights and a fan or a radio, a uh, small TV, DVD player. Um, the little generator is more than enough to get us by on that. So for now, we're just running a cord through the window and powering the few little things that we need. Um, nothing fancy right now, but it gets the job done. So. Uh, the next thing I want to show is the, uh, the stove pipe we have for our chimney we have for our wood burning stove. Uh, everything's metal, no combustible, so we were able to just punch a hole. We replaced a window with uh, some sheet metal, punched a hole in it, put the chimney out the window, and it seems to work pretty good for us. So uh, When you first walk in the bus here, you can see our bag of pine shavings we use for our little sawdust toilet I built. Um, we'll be building a, a wall across the bus here to utilize this uh, dead space in the front and make it uh, just a little private area for the bathroom, uh, change clothes, that kind of stuff. So, uh, walk in the bus, you can see our uh, wood burning stove here. I used some concrete board that was left over from a tile job I did and made a, kind of a, an enclosure to put around the stove to keep the little ones from touching the stove and burning themselves and all that. We have a couple small children that are in the bus a lot and we don't want anybody getting burned. So uh, this little boxwood stove is more than enough to heat this bus. Uh, it'll keep it so warm you know, here in February that you're sweating inside the bus so it's not a problem. Uh, you can see on top here we've got a uh, Dutch oven here with some homemade potato soup in it, a kettle with some boiling some water for some coffee or hot chocolate, you know, kind of stuff you need on a cold February day. So, uh, looking around inside the bus here, you can see that uh, we're, we're just, right now we just have uh, some furniture that we had in storage, a um, couple small tables, um, some cushions. Uh, you can see we have a propane heater, small electric heater there for backup. Uh, eventually we'll be putting in a, a couple of newer, nicer futons in here. I'm going to build some cabinets to cover the old wheel wells and, uh, you know, uh, make the use of the space we have. We're going to, you know, custom build a lot of stuff ourselves so that way it fits into the, to the areas that we have and utilize the space the best we can. Uh, we got a little cooking area back here. Uh, you can see uh, with all the windows open, it's you have a great 360 degree view of, of all the woods around us. That's so really nice sitting out here and watching you know the animals and uh, see out the back here, see down towards the deer feeder where the deer come and eat and all that stuff in the evening. So the inside of the bus has a lot of graffiti in it from when we you know from when it was back in use. Um, our future plans are we're gonna we've. Uh, a friend of ours has an old barn. We were able to scavenge a bunch of old barn tin and some old barn wood. And we're going to do the ceiling with tin and uh, maybe the walls with some barn wood. And uh, try to give it a real rustic cabin feel to it. So um, step out the back door here. You can see our view overlooking the valley. Um, we're going to eventually build a deck here off the back. Uh, you can see the wood wood pallet there. We luckily have some friends family that work in an industry where we get a lot of uh, shipping pallets from heavy equipment so uh, we get that stuff for free. Uh, we've got another one that we're going to use and build a deck right behind the bus itself. And uh, you see here I built these stairs just out of some wood and a piece of electrical conduit that I scavenged from some past projects. Um, the windows in the door of the bus were broken out. We had to replace those, and plexiglass was really expensive. So I had a smaller piece, so I just used some sheet metal and made a kind of a spacer there and made my own window to save us money. So in this area below the cabin, you can see one of the two creeks that flows through our property. 
Um, it's spring fed, crystal clear, uh, nice clean water. So down here in this valley is where we have our deer feeder and we have a old tractor rim we cut the center out of to make a fire pit out of when we want to have a bigger fire we can come down here if it's real windy uh, get down in this hole and be, be out of the wind and not have to worry about setting everything else on fire so eventually we're going to build a walker bridge here so you can walk across the creek we're going to build a small dam so it will hold water in here uh, get that area cleaned up so maybe we can stock it with some fish let the little kids come down here and catch perch or whatever and uh Looking here at the back of the bus, uh, you can see, that, like I say, the, one of the shipping pallets we got that we're going to eventually turn into a deck. We need to get it jacked up and leveled and get it ready to go. But uh, we've got a, a pretty good size area here that we can um, eventually turn into a, a deck area that we can entertain friends and family for the weekend and all that. So it, uh, it's coming along. Like I say, we're right now, we just, we've only stayed in it a couple times. I uh, got everything real basic, but... Uh, We'll uh, eventually have more videos to show. Thank you guys for watching, and if you're into this sort of thing, please comment, like, and subscribe.